2019 tib fib fracture fighting logan woods <clears throat> and then you know COVID and everything after that and i'm i'll work a job still man uh raise a kid and if if i can do this anybody can do this man anybody watching at home if you're like people try to make out like you can never hang doing this man you know like i said for 10 years i've been hearing the same exact conversations the same exact talks and all you got to do is get up walk the walk bite down on your mouth guard nobody's going to be mad at you for losing nobody ever remembers a loser if you remember correctly like they don't they rem because it's easy to forget you're looking forward to the winner's next move right but nobody nobody forgets the loss christian edwards bounced back way better than this man he's 22 years old he's got the whole world in front of him man i know how much money he makes too so he's sitting good and I'm, i pray he's okay you know and I heard you say a minute ago that you had considered maybe not fighting again. Um, if this opportunity hadn't come up for a third time, would you have been done, do you think? No, no, I wouldn't have fought again. I mean, it, it's hard, you know, it's really hard physically, mentally, emotionally. I've lost <clears throat> so I've lost relationships, uh, friendships, you name it, man. I've, uh, jobs, I've lost everything for this, and it feels good. to. I just live my dream, man. You know, what are you guys doing at home if you're not trying to live your dream? Mine's... The only thing left for me to do is win a world title. And, you know, that'd be the only thing I want to do. If anything else after this is like as many decibels to the right side of the comma, you know. I heard you say, oh, people are making fun of me. Is that like internet trolls and stuff? People messaging you? Yeah, and you? I love it. I hope every one of you watched that. And you, you powered me back up. I feed off that like Kenny Powers, number 55. I want you throwing stuff at me when I leave the arena. I want you to be pissed off. You know, hey, you get what you asked for. You just powered me up to win by knockout. You should have just kept your mouth shut. And I also heard you say that you, you work another job. What do you do outside of fighting? I work for Fastenal, baby. Industrial supply company. We're in the construction industry. You know what I mean? So it's kind of your hope here that, that this, what happened tonight could, you know, fighting could become your full-time thing? Do you think you... Maybe, maybe, maybe I'll let my management at uh, <clears throat> First Round Management talk about that. Matt Wobble, Malki Kawa, Abraham Kawa, the best management company in the world. Um, and I'll talk to my boss and stuff back home, man. I love my job. You know, I love working for Fast and All. It's a really good company. For sure. And, um, I mean, coming into this spot, right, you, you mentioned Vegas as well. You were a big underdog. Um, I, I guess from, from... Send the envelopes, Vegas. <laughs> DM for address. I'll send location. A lot of family and friends win some money on you tonight? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I got more. I mean, I got a lot of people. I ain't even got my phone right now, man, but I imagine it's vibrated all the way out of the bag it's in. And I got to ask you, too. I mean, everybody isn't calling you Ben Parrish. They're calling you Big Tuna. Where does that nickname come from? Like, what's the origin of it? <clears throat> Tony Big Tuna Accardo from, uh, I think he's from Boston, Mass. He's a mobster. My dad was a mobster. <clears throat> Runs in the family, man. I'll leave it at that. You don't want to ask too many more questions than that. Uh, Construction ben, industry. Absolutely incredible tonight Thank so you. with this win over christian he was ranked so i assume that you will also be in those rankings top 10 ben baby top 10 so how does it feel to go from almost not fighting again to seeing your name most likely in the top 10 by when they man, update my boy tim right there man look at him he told me when you feel like this you talk to a lot of guys at the top when you feel like this that's when your breakthrough happens he wasn't lying man he's telling the truth I saw that glimmer when he said that to me. I was like, man, maybe he's right. At the same time, every, I mean, it's the mental struggle. I'm sure you guys hear about it from fighters all the time. I get in the ring and I look across and I'm like, man, this ring's kind of small. And then I look across and he's like super big. And he's not the biggest guy of fault either. Teddy Holder definitely takes that one. He's built like a deep freeze, same height, <clears throat> but deep freeze width. And I was like, man, he's going to just kick, just kick me and kick me and kick me. And I, I felt his uh I felt his first shot and he kicked me with that oblique kick and I didn't even feel it, man. Like I got fifty fivers back home like Ontario Gladney on the undercard and Lodge Mitchell, they hit way harder than he did. And I ate it and I was like, Yep, hit me again and see what happens. And he stood there and clocked and told him, told my boss, left hook over the top. What'd I say? What happened? That's exactly what happened. So quick night at the office, obviously under a minute. You have a After lot of people like talking. So I'm wondering when do you want to ideally get back in the cage next? Um, not sure. Uh, talk to the management, talk to the company. I really would like to, to, to either come back fast or see the beginning of the year. 
because um, I mean, I've got I've used all my vacation time at work for this. Um, and um, moving forward, I've got uh, <clears throat> birthdays, Christmas, holidays and stuff. Like I said, it's been a long year, man. And like the, the training camp wasn't hard necessarily, but when you go through three of them back to back with no fight and I had COVID and smack in the middle of that, and you know rehabbing all these injuries look at this i don't i don't want to look like i don't want to <clears throat> be malicious here like like i'm trying to flip the camera off but look at my middle fingers you see this one and you see this one you see how big this one is i broke that like a couple weeks before i was supposed to fight him in may i literally couldn't close my fist all the way um my knees are kind of jacked you know i'm not going to go into too much on it but like i'm okay though you know um feel good we'll see what happens on that uh i'm sure that they'll try to match me with polizzi or one of those guys we'll see what happens thank you very much congratulations again thank you we'll take a few more questions here jay hey thanks very much and uh ben congratulations on the win tonight yeah i'm online coming at you from yeah. a distance man no worries space uh, goes coast to coast baby <laughs> Exactly. There we go. Um, I wanted to ask, you know, you talked about coming back from the leg injury and I'm just curious how long it was before you were a hundred percent comfortable with that. And was there anything nagging in the back of your mind when you stepped in there, having gone through a hey. mishap like that in a fight? Nah, big John, big John asked me in the interviews the other day, told him I'd kick him with it. And I did. Told you. <laughs> Good stuff. And, uh, you know, you talked about the trolls coming at you and that's an unfortunate part of the sport. I'm just wondering if you think that I'm one of them <laughs> <laughs> appreciate the candor. Um, I, I'm wondering if you think that he over or sorry, overlooked you at all, uh, coming into this perhaps. I, I think so. I mean, he was nervous and, re but relaxed at the same time. And I've been there, man, I've been undefeated two different times as amateur and as a pro and people gassing you up and you're just kind of like, yeah, I'm the best, whatever. But you're also in the back of your mind, like, man, you know, was this guy really made of? And uh, I think I've got that point across. Absolutely. Well, congratulations again on the win tonight. Thank you. Kobe. Hi, Ben. Awesome fight. Instant fan. Love the way you start the top 10 guy out of nowhere. <laughs> it was just amazing. But I got to give you props for French the Richard paperwork. Sherman quote at the end. <laughs> I got to give you props for the Richard Sherman quote at the end. You a Seahawks fan? Uh, I've been to Seattle. I wouldn't say I'm a Seahawks fan, but I like Richard Sherman. Uh, let me tell you who um, I want to see this is Dak Prescott. He watched me fight his coach, who's a great fighter, Bob Steiner, in uh, 2012 or 2013. He was Mississippi State's uh, strength and conditioning coach, and the whole Mississippi State football team was there. And I'm a lifelong Ole Miss fan. My mom graduated at Ole Miss. She's taught special education for 32 years. <clears throat> so knocking him out in front of Dak Prescott and the whole Mississippi State Bulldogs team, that's even kind of better than this tonight, to be honest with you. That's bragging rights for eternity. So Dak, contract man, what's up, baby? I know you remember. Nice, does, nice. Good fight, Dad. buddy. Thank you. <laughs> Last one, Chris. Ben, Chris Connor here. Last call. Uh, congratulations on the big win. You mentioned the trolls and the haters. How much of a motivation was it also when, and look, I'll take blame for this. Every media person was going, okay, well, this should be a, a showcase fight for Christian Edwards. He's the professional athlete. He's right. the favorite. How much does that motivate you knowing that all of it's it. the media, it's the fans, probably in Bellator, and hey, you're the Patsy. You're supposed to lose, and all of a sudden now you can tell us where – where do you crow? Where to stick those uh, ten thousand balloons for the celebration? Yeah, I mean, like I said, I fit, I needed that. I needed them to come make fun of me, man. As like run down, burn out as I was, hurting, wanting to retire, and then you know everything's hurting. Um, I'm upset. I'm going through a lot back home. Like I said, I, I lost a lot to do this. So, how, like I said again, one, how many seconds was that? Thirty-eight for seconds. Six months. How many? 38. I'll take it. I'll take it. Um, and I love that motivation, man. Don't be, don't be a piece of shit. Don't be a bully. Don't try to make fun of somebody to make yourself feel better about yourself. Cause like at, at the end of the day, the guy who most likely looks like he can't beat you up is probably going to give you most of the business. The quiet ones are the dangerous ones. My friend, don't ever forget it. All right. Thank you so much for the time, Ben. Congrats on the win. Thank you.